Excerpt from Defeating Sin, Overcoming Our Passions and Changing Forever by Father Joseph David Honeycutt. On Confession A brother asked Abba Seosis, saying, What shall I do, Abba, for I have fallen? The old man answered, Get up again. The brother says, I got up and I fell again. The old man continued, Get up again and again. The brother asked, Tell when? The old man answered, Until you have been seized either by virtue or by sin. The thing about confession is that it is natural. That is, it is real. Almost everything else we do with our sin is false and unnatural. We punish ourselves, justify our actions, and hide. Yet in confession, in opening ourselves to God the light, we expose the hypocrisy of our double life. In truth, we have been living a lie. Without confession, absolution, and reconciliation, we live a lie before God and man as if it were reality. In reality, no one is fooled, not our neighbor, not ourselves, and let's be real, certainly not God. The divine scripture says, God said to Adam, Adam, where art thou? Why did the creator of all things say this? Of course, it was in order to dispose Adam to come to his senses, to acknowledge his sin and repent. This is why he said, Adam, where art thou? As it were, he said, Adam, enter into yourself, acknowledge your nakedness, and understand what a garment and what a glory you have lost. Adam, where are you? In a certain way, as it were, he awakens him and says, O oh, Adam, come to yourself and confess with humility your sin. Come, out of the place where you are hiding. Do not think to hide yourself from me. Say, I have sinned. And thus, each of us, no matter what transgression he might have fallen into, let him not accuse Adam, but let him reproach himself and let him show true and worthy repentance like Adam, if he desires to be vouchsafed the kingdom of heaven. The sacrament of confession is not simply a formal absolution, as if God were angry and demanded expiation. It is something more. It is a part of the therapeutic treatment, the healing of the soul. The confessor must make it clear that while he certainly stands against the penitent sin, he nevertheless stands with him as a person, a fellow struggler. Thus, once a penitent has come to oneself and then proceeded on toward repentance through reconciliation, the next step in the process is communion. The goal is theosis. It is a lifelong process that involves 1. Coming to oneself 2. Confession 3. Communion Communion which basically means common union with God and mankind, is impossible without first gaining self-knowledge and then ridding oneself continually of sins and passions through confession. Communion is never fully completed in this life. Neither are the first two steps, one, coming to oneself, and two, repentance. Rather, this is the lifelong path that one treads toward deification, theosis. In this earthly life, we never graduate. Yet, with God's help, we just proceed from glory to glory toward His likeness.